A very happy birthday to head coach well, Kathy Raley, who joins us now. I only wanted one thing, and, right. and we didn't get it. Eh, so It's what it is. Yeah. Um, well, let's just start with this. Draw controls. Sure. Um, you know, we didn't, Glenn, we didn't deserve to win today. Um, you know, what, some of the things that we keep talking about, our defense was not great today. We were not, uh, we were not covering the shoulders we wanted to cover. We were not pressuring the feeds. We were not getting garbage on their missed shots. Like a lot of things went wrong on that end. And to be honest with you, a lot of things went, a ton of things went wrong on the uh, f offensive end. We are really relying on our midfield, who just played defense, and Keely Bunce to do all the shooting, to do all the driving, to do all the ball movement. We've got four other attackers in there that really need to start stepping it up. Overall, though, um, you know, from Saturday, you, you had two main goal scorers. And mm -hmm. today, you know, we were talking about we wanted to see some other goal mm -hmm. scorers. And, you mm -hmm. know, do you feel like you got some of that today and some of the other players? Uh, you know, I think that we did. I think that we had a few different players score, which is good. MK, I know, had one. And we had some freshmen that put some, ball, some, uh, some goals in. Um, it's about the movement, though, that's not going on. The movement around the offensive end, the cutting. We think it's we think it's okay to run four steps and set a pick, and then we're all done. Um, and I, I sound a little bit like a broken record, and I've been saying this to the team almost. I'm sure they're so tired of me saying it, but I've got to go back to the drawing board. I've got to go back to the drawing board, and I need to come up with plays where they are constantly moving, um, because right now we're just not doing that. How much of this is a young team? How much of this is it's early in the season? How much of this is correctable yeah. moving forward? It's all correctable, but it is 99% of... 99.9% .9 that we're young. Yeah. You're going to see a different look every time. I think we were very elevated for the Salisbury game. I think that we have four girls with the flu right now that tried to do their very best and maybe didn't have their best games. Um, I think that we just... We just need to get better every day at this point. You know, we're trying to play a lot of younger players, and they're getting beat by better teams. And um, you know, we have the number one team in the country right. on Saturday. And and if we show up like we did today, it is going to be one long afternoon for us. So we'll make some changes. I was I was happy with the changes we made in the draw in the second half. I thought you know we evened it up a little bit better. Yeah, certainly the start yeah. of the second half. Yeah. You know, Hannah was in there battling and yeah. did a pretty good job. Sure and you did. were facing a, you know, the, one of the tallest uh, uh, yeah. players you're going to face. Yeah. Geiger, uh, you talk yeah. about a six-footer. Sure. And, and she places it well. She places it well, and they had two good girls on the outside. I, I just, like, it, all, all the wheels came off. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one thing when one wheel comes off, but when all the wheels come off, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> so, so what do you do now? How do you have them ready for Saturday and for this, this really, really brutal test that you have on the road? I think they, we're, I'm going to spend a lot of time with the offense looking at film. I think they need to really see how just little they do. Um, and I will try to compare that to maybe some other teams that move well. We don't move. We don't move. We have too many girls out there that are not confident in taking the 1v1. Too many. That just, that, that one girl gets on her and we drop the ball. And that's youth. That's mostly youth. Some of it is just preparing a little bit better and, and going hard in practice. I, you know, I don't know what the answer is. If I knew what the answer was, we, this would have been a 19 to six game. The good news yes. is it's it's not like you're they're one goal games, yeah. right? You lost two one goal games to start the season. Right. I know that there's no solace in that. I understand, but yeah. it's not that far. Yeah. I guess is 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 where we're at. This should not have been a one goal game. This should have been about a 10 goal game. So I would like to see us beat down on teams that we are better than. And had Saturday's team played this team today. Yeah we would be in a whole different boat. Yeah. Um, but that's not what happened. And, and we'll just, we're just gonna, I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board. That's what I told them. I, we've gotta go back and rethink how I can get this offense to move, rethink how we attack in the, in the one, <clears throat> excuse me, in the 1v1s. Not a good birthday celebration for me tonight. Happy birthday anyway. Happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. You too. <laughs> Thanks. You too. When's your birthday? I'm not until September, so I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I got a Maybe minute. You. How about you? Shelby <laughs> did allege that sometimes her birthday was a little overshadowed. Because we were uh, decorating here. for someone else's birthday <laughs> on the yeah. 21st. It was, oh, that's so was. funny. It's so true. It's a little bit true. Little bit true. Uh, go get them on Saturday. Thank you. Right. I really appreciate Good it. Thank, Thank you, Coach. Kathy Rayleigh joining us here on the All Access Post Game Show.